All right, so let's let's have a little drink for her. Let this be like a, a quick mini tutorial. You start with with one single bone, and I like to change the properties a bit. I always set it to pivot and I always set it in front. And then viewport display, here we go. I go to wire. So now we have this little shape here. Now for armatures, I always do this and it's not something a lot of people do. But I create one bone right here that acts like, like a base for the character to stand in. And this is going to be the root of the whole thing. Then I add the hip. And I'm going to wireframe so we can see the the shapes. And usually you make another for the ribs and another for the chest. The character is very simple, so we just have two for the whole body. This one is hips. This one is chest. This one is head. This we are going to put into the base, but with give up theft. No, same for the arms. We are going to do something like this. And this we can subdivide. And this we put into this one. Again, keep upset. And finally for the legs we do something similar. We are going to start here. We're going to come here and go straight down for the feet. And notice how we are only making one side. That's because we can then symmetrize it. It's so it's so cool, it's so useful. And this will pad into the head. And we will get the whole the whole armature and we'll uh, symmetrize it. But for symmetrizing it's very important to have the correct names. So and this one is base. And this one is hips, chest, head. And here's the funny thing, this is arm1.l, and this dot .l tells the, the program that it's uh, the left side, dot .l, dot .l, same with the left. So now we select everything, we go to armature, symmetrize, and here we go, we have the whole thing. And here's the, the funny thing, like this is important because I've seen so many people like try to use automatic wax painting and you know that doesn't work for low poly models. That doesn't work that way. You need precision. So, so pay attention, this is what we do. We get the model, we get the armature, and we pair it with empty groups. This is important. Now if we move the, the armature, it doesn't do anything. But it's because nothing is assigned. So we go here, we go to the data tab, and here we have the, the groups for every single bone. So we go to edit mode, I'm going to go to, to solid, so it's easier to see, and we get the vertices and assign them manually. We want this to be the fit. So put dot L, and we want to assign it with a weight of 1, assign. This is for the second part of the leg, assign. And this is the upper part of the leg, so we assign it to leg 1. No, we want the skirt to move with, with leg 1 too, at least this part, right? So we assign it. And then this should be part of the hip. So assign this and this, and this one should go to the chest, so we assign it to. And if you want to make this easier, you can press H to hide them once you have already assigned them. Now we are going to pick all of this, that is the head, and we are going to assign it to head, assign. 
so we can hide it already and start painting the, the arms we with this and go to arm1.l always dot l because the right side is in the mirror modified this to arm2 and this to hand or we go to post mode it works and as you see it works pretty well because we assigned everything manually of course there is little parts that don't work very well like this one see and this is because we only have uh, two values for the for the wave we only have zero and one and this should be shared between two bonds so this is the, the next thing we are going to do go back to object mode and note that we have painted manually if we go to with paint and this is better to to work in wireframe view by the way we now can get the arm2.l and see that it starts and ends here we go to options and it's very important that you turn this on auto normalize that way if you paint the, the wave for one bone it will make sure that the, the waves for every single bone have to one so now with the hand selected we can go to 0 0.5 and paint this and it's better to have like a very small area here we go and here's the funny thing if we go back to R2 this has changed to 0 0.5 too because we have auto normalized so now if we go back to object mode and go to post mode see this is much better it takes into account both bonds so now we make a little bit of a test with the rest of the armature and as you can see it does something a bit weird here with the feet so we will actually change the, the topology and what we are going to do is add another look here Okay. with this we can actually remove this it will happen automatically anyway it's so bad if we go to to wave paint you'll see that something has been assigned automatically if we get leg 2 it has 0.5 for this one that is because it's a new vertex and it's in the middle of a uh, a vertex that had 0 and a vertex that had 1 and as you can see it works much better but this is only half of the work right because it works now but it's a bit clunky and we want to add actually good controls for it so we go back to edit mode on the armature and we are going to add a case the first thing we want to do is remove the, the right side again because after we are done with a case we are going to symmetrize it again so now we duplicate the, the fit and we make it bigger so we go here to bone we uncheck the form and ak put dot l now we create a new bone and this one is going here this is going to be our marker for the knee this one should not be found either ak knee dot l and we pairing it to the other AK. So the first thing we're going to do is to make the, the feet move with the AK. So we copy rotation from armature AK foot L. Now we want the leg to, to move with it too. So we use in bar kinematics armature AK foot L. And we change the, the chain length. Yeah, let's set it to two. Finally, we go to the, to the other leg bone. Again, in first kinematics. But this time, we point to the knee. And the chain length should be only one. And finally, and this is an important thing, the AK should be parented maybe to the, to the base. Keep, and keep offset. Now, as you can see, the whole leg moves with it. If you 
rotating it, the leg moves towards that direction. So with that done, we can get these three bonds that we don't want to work with. And here in Armature, we create a category private and assign to it. And we remove from the bounce one. So now if we make it so that we cannot see Draven, we will only see this one. We think we will do the same. This is going to be another AK, so we offset it to the to the base and uncheck the form. And this is AK and dot L. And this will be elbow bone. It will go here and it's parented here. This one doesn't deform either. This is AK hand, this is AK elbow dot L. And now we can add some inverse kinematics here. First thing we want to do is to make those part of the driven and remove it from bones. So again, copy rotation here, armature, AK hand. And now the arm goes inverse kinematic, AK hand, the chain length of two. And this one gets inverse kinematic, armature, and AK elbow with a chain length of 1. So we can see this working already. And now the coolest thing is we can get everything and go armature, symmetrize. And this works. It is set up correctly in both sides. It's so cool. So now we uncheck driven and we have a super easy and super easy to understand rig. And finally, we want to also append this to the armature. So we put this, and again, empty groups. And the cool thing is we can just pick everything and add it to hand L. 